welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing part three of how to survive high school. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have started a series on my channel this summer of how to survive high school and there are three parts. So if you would like to look at part one and two, they will be linked down below or you can go to the playlist that I created for you guys and go to the back to school tab and you'll find all my back to school videos. So with that being said, today's video is part three and it is all about how to study and how to pass all your midterms and your finals and all that good stuff because unfortunately there are so many tests and quizzes and finals and midterms in high school and college that I thought I would take what I have learned and share it with you guys. But before I do, I wanted to make one special announcement. For those of you who have been with me for a long time, you know that I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. But from now on, I'm gonna be posting on Mondays and Fridays. That way you can start off your week and end the week with me. And I'll occasionally be posting on Wednesdays as well. But for sure, Mondays and Fridays. I think it's gonna work out so much better. And I really hope that you guys like that new posting schedule as well. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video and I'll show you guys how to study that way you guys can ace all your finals and midterms. Okay, let's get started. My first question on my phone is, are finals as bad as people say they are? So basically, are finals as hyped as people say they are? And yes, girl, that is true because finals and midterms especially are so stressful and all the horror stories that you have heard are true. You have a lot of cramming, you don't really sleep, you don't really eat well, and you're kind of just stressed out for like a whole week or a whole couple weeks. But in reality, it is just a test. It will not affect your grade that much. I mean, it will affect it right then and there, but within a couple of weeks, your grade will be right back to where it should be. So try not to stress yourself out. Yes, work hard and try to do as best as you can. And if you pull a C, great, you got a C. And if you get an A, you get an A. Really, it's just a letter, it's just a piece of paper. And in a day, two days, a month, a year, that grade is not gonna mean anything so I want you guys to know that try your best yes finals are hard yes midterms are hard but as long as you try your best and you know that you tried your best then you have nothing to worry about and I believe in you so you should believe in yourself so go out there and kill your test and try not to worry because it really doesn't matter in the long run I promise you I've survived high school I've survived college well I'm surviving college and it is all gravy up in here so do your best question number two is do you have any study recommendations and I yes I do the first study recommendation is eat right sleep well and drink lots of water that is three of them wrapped up into one those three things sleeping well eating right and drinking lots of water are really going to help you perform your best mentally and physically and you're going to just feel so strong and like yeah I can take on this midterm so be sure they're eating as well as you can drink a lot of water and getting at least your eight hours of sleep it is so so dang important and the second piece of advice that I would recommend is a study group I'm a huge fan of study groups I love getting together with a group of classmates or friends and studying you quizzing them them quizzing you you sharing advice on how to study they do it back to you and you're talking a whole group of people that really want to focus in and get a good grade and you guys can have a good time you know take a little break here and there watch the bachelor red or watch Grey's anatomy order a pizza girl do your thing have some manicures in between just have a good time and also get that studying in it will make it a lot more enjoyable you'll learn a lot and you'll be having a great time studying with your friends so bam and that would be tip number two and tip number three on what i would recommend to study is flashcards i'm a huge 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 fan of flashcards you know what let me go show you guys this is my little handy dandy guy full of flashcards i have so many of these and this is what I keep on my desk right next to me when I study because it is so dang helpful. I love flashcards and I love flashcards because you like you get the auditory and the visual. You get the visual from writing it down, all your information on the flashcard and you get the auditory by flipping through them and repeating whatever you need to repeat over and over again. And I think with the visual and the audio, mixed together it's just a whole big concoction and it works and it's beautiful and i have loved flashcards my entire life i will use them i'll promote them they're fantastic 
I really hope they work for you. They work really good for me. So if you haven't tried flashcards, try flashcards. If you don't want to like sit here like me and write 5,000, 100 of them, go online. They're free flashcard website so you can fill out online if you're a tech genius. But if you're old school like me, you can pick this up at your local Target, Walmart, CVS, whatever, and write these bad boys out. But I think it's the best of both worlds. And I'd highly recommend for you to get some flashcards for this back to school year. Okay, I think we get the point. I love flashcards. All right, next question. Here we're going to ride along to question number three. And that is what are the easiest and hardest subjects to study for for finals? That is a really good question. And my answer to that is the easiest, in my opinion, to study for are going to be your electives. So your art classes, your dance classes, your drama classes. Because those don't really take a lot of academic work. And they're really fun. But academic wise, for me, I think English and science are the easiest. And I say that because English is basically going to be a lot of essays. And as long as you learn how to write a good basic essay, you're going to be fine. So I say English is pretty easy. Science is pretty easy too because it's just a lot of common sense. So I think as long as you look at it as, okay, how would I do this or how would I do that, you should be fine. Now on the flip side of that, for me, maybe you guys are the opposite. Let me know down below what subjects are the easiest and hardest for you guys. But for me, the hardest subjects are math and history. And history, those flashcards girl are going to be handy because it is all about memorization and memorizing when, where, why, how, blah, 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 blah. So for me, that's a little bit more harder. With those flashcards, they make it better. They really do, I promise you. And math, for me at least, is a little bit more difficult because you have A plus B equals C and C divided by D equals, you know, Justin Bieber and, you know, whatever, you know, just ah, confusing. So I would say history and math are a little bit more difficult. They're not undoable. You can definitely do it if you put your hard work into it. So it's gonna be a little bit harder, but you know, science and English and all that gloryness right over here will be easier. So that is what I think on that, but let me know down below what you guys think, what's easy, what's hard to study for, because I would love to hear from it. Now, moving on to question number four, and my last question is, do you have any certain tips on reducing stress levels during finals week? Yes, I do. I think it is so deeper, 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 deeper important to help reduce the stress levels during finals week. Now I'm not going to say you're never going to be stressed during finals because that is unrealistic and your girl gets stressed. But I think it is good to mellow out, chill, and what I would do, what I love doing, is I love taking a bubble bath. So I love going to my local Target or Walmart or Lush if I want to you know, splurge a little, get a couple bath bombs, relax, light some candles, watch the Netflix, just kind of have a little me night. I love doing that. I love going out for an ice cream. I love reading a good book. I love going to a yoga class or taking a walk. Whatever you guys like to do to help just like chill you out, do it. And I would do it every single night during finals week because you deserve to treat yourself, girl. You go treat yourself. All right, guys, and that is the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you learned something. If you made it to this point in the video, then congratulations. That means that you're about to find out who won my giveaway for my back to school supplies for this year. And the winner is drum roll, please. Duh. The winner of the 2017 back to school giveaway is Miriam. Rendon, and I really hope I said your last name right. I probably did it, but congratulations. I'll put your name on the screen right here in case I completely butchered your name. Congratulations, I'll be sending you your package of goodies. I hope you enjoy it. I had so much fun picking it out, so congratulations. And I will be contacting you on Instagram and emailing you, so be sure to check your email and your Instagram tonight. Thank you so much for entering, and thank all of you who didn't win for entering as well. I so, 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 so appreciate it. And even though if you didn't win, please stick around because I have really exciting plans coming up for the future of this channel, and I will be doing a giveaway in September and then another one 
in October. So be sure to stick around because I have a lot of cool goodies coming up for you guys in the next couple months. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. And be sure to follow me on all my other social media links listed down below to keep up with me and what's good. And be sure to work hard, stay humble, and be kind. I'll see you guys on Friday with my new posting schedule. I have some really fun stuff coming at you. So uh, peace out. Bye.